An airline shake-up that could see cheaper fares. Four killed at a roadside picnic. And Australia wins the fifth test. Oh, catch that one is. Good evening. The transfer of low-level radioactive waste to the Lucas Heights nuclear site in Sydney's south has been banned. However, today's landmark court decision leaves no adequate facilities for the long-term storage of radioactive waste within Australia. To make way for a housing development, radioactive waste was to be removed from this St Mary's Defence Force site and stored at Lucas Heights. But the Chief Judge of the Land and Environment Court has said no. Justice Cripps ruling the transfer would breach state planning laws. Victory for the Sutherland Shire Council. It is a research institute. It was never meant to be the dumping ground for all of Australia's nuclear waste. And Justice Cripps went further, demanding the removal of this radioactive waste transferred to Lucas Heights from Victoria four years ago. The court has ordered this material be removed from Lucas Heights within three years. But at present, there's no adequate facility within Australia for it to be taken to. It's a political issue. Governments need to decide uh, where the most appropriate place for a national repository, repository will be. A spokeswoman for the Federal Energies Minister, Simon Crean, said the government was keen to find a suitable site, but could give no indication when such a facility may be in place. For now, these drums must stay at Lucas Heights. Waste at St Mary's must remain in these bunkers. The high-level radioactive waste permitted for storage at Lucas Heights continues to build. Mark Ferguson for Seven Nightly News. Sport is next with Cameron Williams. What a top effort by Mark Whitney. Wasn't that a great mm. spell? It was tremendous. Whitney put the Indians out of their misery today. He absolutely ripped through them, taking seven for 27. Yeah. And there it is. Michael Whitney's got his best ever bowling figures. And they get an answering machine, they hang up. But if they ring up and they think they've got me... They'll hurl themselves under a passing car. Hey, Dad, plus home to roost tonight. What? The rest of the world is going to get to know the Savoy region and, and all these ski resorts. Knowing the French attitude to volunteering for anything, Olympic organisers were initially concerned they wouldn't get enough people to help out. But once word got around that this was the sort of area those people would be working in, there wasn't a problem. In Auberville, France, Steve Kerry, 7 Nightly News. And for the first time ever, we've got some medal chances. How good? Fair. That puts it in perspective. <laughs> Thanks, Cameron. On to finance, and the All Ordinaries has come off yesterday's low, up a couple of points, but gold was down, as was the Australian dollar. Humid with the chance of showers, tomorrow's weather next, and a smashing time as an ice palace goes on the rocks. <laughs> Six in the city, 27 or 28 across the western suburbs. Warm, humid and unsettled weather is expected for the next few days, with afternoon showers or storms continuing through the weekend. And that's Seven Nightly News. Stay with us now for Real Life with Stan Grant and his interview with the doctor treating Himalayan survivor, James Scott. I'm Roger Clemson. Good night. Tonight, at what stage will the final decision be made to end Nancy B's life? A young woman stricken by a rare disease, a story that could save her life. Tell her to go for it. Don't pull the plug. Against all odds, the latest on that amazing survival drama. We knew that nobody could go through an ordeal of this magnitude and uh, still not be in serious problems. His condition is serious but stable. Those stories and more to come in the ebb and flow of real life.